right, here we are. Bobby Rogers, maximum capacity for D1 Pro Wrestling. Special referee, Andrew Wolf. I can't help but laugh when I see this guy. She's got a, like a dazed and crazed and strange look in his eyes. And uh, special is the correct word. I guess you could say that. He's, he's definitely a, a sandwich short of a full picnic basket. He's a very lovable kid, this guy. Oh, no, he's a great kid. He's got a great heart. But... Greg Classic introduced an Andrew Wolf special referee for this match. Because of the uh, history there with him and Craig Classic, Andrew Wolf cost him Classic a victory at the last D1PW event. Yeah, Craig doesn't work over in the States much. He's uh, He spends most of his time over for Big Japan Pro Wrestling. Max, you've been to Japan. I've got to ask you the truth, they say. Do the women really throw themselves at the big men over there? Actually, I'm very fortunate that they do like fat men over in Japan. So I don't know uh, why Craig goes over there so often because he's not uh, not that quite a big guy, but he spends most of the, more, he spends more time in Japan than he does in the United States working. As long as he's wearing that shirt, Craig, you got to be careful. He can send you the back. Weighing in at 183 pounds from Newport, Richie, Florida, Jason Moore. All right, D1PW ring announcer. Announcing Jason Moore. The ring announcer seemed a little, a little excited there for Jason Moore. actually welcoming one of the wrestlers. we has got to just forget that Andrew is there, take care of business, take it to Moore, and then if you can get a shot in on, uh, on Wolf later, you go ahead and do that. All right, ref calls the bell. We're on your way. I got to ask you, Bobby, do you think he's going to call us down the middle, or is he going to possibly favor Jason Moore? You never know with Andrew Wolf. Even if he didn't have a problem with, uh, with Craig Classic, I gotta kind of think. Like I said, the guy's not all there to begin with. I believe he's also a uh, a gold medal winner. And Andrew Wolf. Gold medal? I believe he won a gold medal on one of the shows. Which show was that? Two or three shows ago for D1PW. I believe he won a gold medal, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I'm, I gotta check into that. If he was at Special Olympics, I would have said, okay, I believe that. He's our Kurt Angle. All right, the fans getting into this one. More classic, locking up. One, two, three, four, four. This is four. See now. You see now, Wolf was was calling it fairly. That wasn't fast count or nothing. Actually, the fans should enjoy this. This is a treat for their eyes because, like I said, you don't get to see Craig Classic much in the United States. He spends most of his time over in Japan with Big Japan Pro Wrestling. Right, right now, Classic has the upper hand. Or rolls, rolls out of it. Reversal. What, what just happened? I don't know what just happened. Looks like Andrew's interjected himself. Andrew's got the upper hand now. Not really sure how that happened, but... Definitely Andrew Wolf getting more involved than a referee normally does. Let's not forget Andrew Wolf is a trained wrestler. Andrew 
actually have the opposite of uh, there you see him more reaching the rope. We actually have the opposite of what we saw here recently in D1PW with referee Chuck Orrin turned wrestler. Here's wrestler Wolf turned referee. That's right now classic. The way the economy is nowadays, you gotta find work wherever you can. That's true, Max. Suplex, nice overhead suplex. Classic taking that breather. Let's see if Andrew gives a fast counter or not now. You see, Andrew's kind of giving a normal count. Well, actually, I think he's having trouble reaching five. <laughs> that could be the case with Wolf, you never know. You got a point there. Like I said, you never know what to expect from this guy. He counts to five twice. <laughs> All right, now Wolf stepping out of the ring and trying to interject his authority. Classic just wants no part of it, no respect. The referee's like, oh, he's chasing Wolf and Wolf running from him. <laughs> kind of comically, if you ask me. Oh, met by a clothesline by Moore. I have to admit, Jason Moore and Andrew Wolf are working well together as a team. You could, one could say that, Max. Jason Moore now working Classic over in the ring. Jason across, reversal by Classic. Moore with a sunset flip. Classic grabbing, oh! Wolf kicks the hands off the ropes. See, Wolf kind of... Maybe he's confused because one minute he, oh, clothesline. I, I don't want to say that was inadvertent. That looked deliberate to me. He's going to have to call for a bell or something. That He can't let that go. That's going to be an immediate disqualification. These two still going at it, though. Classic having no regard for Wolf as a referee, no respect for his authority at all. Now they're helping Wolf out of there. We've got another referee in here to finish the match, it looks like. Looks like it's Pez Watley. I believe the referee is Pez, but not Pez Watley. Nice forearm. Top of the head, clothesline. Another clothesline on Classic by Moore. And another reversal, Duck Under. Nice. An atomic drop. I Craig Classic. Elbow right. He planted that right in the chest, Max. It is late in the match. Something like that would definitely take the wind away from you. Nice measured kick right to the back of the head. As the Lake Rilla Monsoon would say, kick to the medulla oblongata. I'm not sure if that was part of Craig's. Uh, thinking, but he got rid of Andrew Wolf, so maybe he can concentrate more in this match now. Yeah, good move. It worked out good for Classic, because Classic's on top of his game right now. He has not to worry about the referee at all. Snap suplex. As Classic snaps more over, get the two count out of it. Right, Classic's got more on the mat. Jason Moore stomping that foot to get the fans behind him. Seems to be working. Back to his feet. Not even able to get one elbow off before Classic stops him and sends him across. Missed drop kick. Moore held on to those ropes. Greg back to his feet. Whoa, nice move by Jason Moore. Kick to the side of the head. Perhaps Moore should have went for a cover, but pulled Classic up. Solid chop. Backs Classic to the corner, sits him up there on the top rope. Classic wants no part of that. But Moore coming right back at him. Chops and kicks. Nice, solid kicks by Jason Moore out of the corner. Nice kind of like a rolling thunder kind of in the ring. Covering Classic, just a two count. Good 
matchup here since, hey, to say it, it's been a good match since they got rid of Wolf. Moore sending Classic across. Nobody home. Classic rolling him up. One, two, three. Max, he had the tights, Max. I'm not sure. The referee pulled it right down the middle, it looked like. I, I don't know that, Max. I can see from where I'm sitting here, he definitely had a handful of trunks. Nonetheless, Craig, what is this? Uh -oh. Wolf back. Looks like, like Fred Classic the winner? Not sure, it looks like Andrew might be trying to reverse this. You know, Andrew Wolf is the, the assigned official and as commissioner here in D1PW. I'm going to have to go with the assigned official. For the decision of the assigned official of the matchup, Andrew Wolf. Due to the actions of Craig earlier in the match, we have disqualification. We are winner, Jason Moore. Big win for Jason Moore. Disqualification victory over Craig Classic. We'll be back with more D1PW action.